How's it going everyone? My name is James, the Abstract Marcher, and I know this is about three years or so too late, <laughs> but I am going to be discussing my experiences with the Young Handsmeister Handaufzog, or as my wife likes to call it, my Hagendas watch. <laughs> In my time with this piece, it has been both a very amazing experience and also very infuriating at the same time. So let's go over what I enjoy and love about this watch the most and then go with my complaints. And the first thing I would really like to reiterate from my unboxing video for this piece is just how gorgeous it is and how thin it is. The thinness definitely helps its wearability and its comfort. Along with that, the dial is just absolutely stunning. Very wonderfully crafted. Between the choices for the hands on both the main hours and minutes and the very tiny sub-second second hand. Along with that, the concave portion of the small seconds really is a small detail that is just absolutely gorgeous to look at too in its own respect. It's simple yet elegant and I am all about it. And I still absolutely love the rose gold. I know it's technically rose gold coated steel, but I'm still calling it rose gold. So suck on those eggs. Now to my complaints and they are numerous in certain respects. The first one I have, and I'm sure a bunch of other people who own a watch with this glass can attest, the plexiglass sucks. I know it adds to the legibility and just ease of being able to view this watch very elegantly, but I'm going to have to dish out a little bit of a pretty penny to get Sapphire put on this bad boy because I can't wear it as frequently as I would like because I'm afraid of bumping into any corner, any kind of door, into anybody, you know, I'm just afraid to wear this out because of the glass. And that is really my biggest complaint. Another complaint is just as equally as bad of an offender to this piece. And that is, and I don't know if I got a good enough photo to show it, but the, I'm calling it crab legged kind of deal, but you, um, someone can correct me in the comments. The stance of the lugs for the watch straps is a part of the wearability issues I have with this piece at times. The original supplied strap was very creaky when I first got it. And as time wore on, it became very uncomfortable. Now I know that was a genuine leather strap and that is gonna be cheap, but even other straps that I have bought for it have ran into problems. Mostly, I have to watch out for the thickness of certain straps. There are other straps that I have bought for this watch, like this blue one that I have. That watch band is too thick to comfortably wear with this watch. And I have tried. I've, I've tried giving it plenty of weeks of wear. And no, I just can't. The band is too thick for the watch to comfortably be worn. My Milanese strap. It's comfortable when it's not yanking my arm hairs out. And I know that happens with a lot of bracelets, so that's a caveat with them. And so I have to really pay attention to the thicknesses of watch straps before buying them for this piece. Shield your eyes on screen now. What? What the fuck? 
is a picture of me wearing the Yonghans with a NATO strap. It's to prove a point. That NATO strap is for a 18mm wide lug width. The Yonghans is a 20mm wide lug width. It's really a delicate balance to try and strike with this piece to be able to wear it comfortably. And I'm sure eventually I'll find a watch strap I can wear with this thing. It's just annoying to have all of these different gripes. So for those of you that have asked me on the original video's comments what my thoughts and opinions are of this piece, it's very gorgeous and very much an eye-catching watch. However, definitely upgrade to sapphire glass if you can and make sure you take note and heed the thickness and width of your watch strap depending on what kind of watch strap you're getting and if you're getting a bracelet don't go as high as the watch is because oof you're in for a rough time hopefully you found this video helpful if you did like share subscribe Leave a comment, anything helps. If you have any opinions on Young Hands or any other dress watches, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you all have a good day and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.